Like it really tastes like some kampong chicken. Do you know what I mean? Like this chicken has been running around the field for, for 10 days. Alright, it's Chong Baru. I love Chong Baru. Also, Zemet isn't here yet. Let me give him a call. Yo, Zemet, why are you late? Oh, hey, hey, there he is. I'm not late, I'm looking at plants. Good morning, guys. Good morning. You are here at Chong Baru. And today you'll be exploring the old school food spots in Tiong Baru. How many places? You'll be going to three places. Okay, not that bad. I don't think the things here is going to be that expensive. Tiong Baru is very rich yeah. in history. Just not when I park the car and I walk here, I see a lot of like those uh, elderlies. They'll just be like very casually scrolling around and the vibe is very different here in Tiong Baru. Even in the, the market, the Tiong Baru market, you just see people there yeah, yeah. drinking their coffee and you know the coffee has been made for 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a very nice community here. Okay, but anyways, what's our first location? I heard uh, this place is very well known among my friends they, because they come at during midnight and they are open like until very late. Sort of a supper place also. It is like a supper place. Okay, but anyways, we got two variations. One is the soup one and one is the ampang one. They fry everything and then they put that, that very rich gravy on top. My preference is this one. Uh, like a lot more flavour. Do you have a favourite Yong Tau Foo? Ingredient? Uh? No, as in wrong Yong Tau Foo place. Oh! Is it at Tok Payo? I think I forgot it's Tok Payo. Tok Payo one! Yeah, yeah that's, that's the one, favorite. right? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, Tok Payo is the Hakka Hakka. Yeah, 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 that one. Yeah, 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 I want to try the soup first. Okay, yeah, maybe you should try the soup first. Oh, actually, not bad. Mm, good, hearty, young Tok Payo soup. Okay, you can taste the, the kukwa, the bitter god. Oh, it's bitter. I feel like I need to put in the sauce. The eggplant is so good. Eh? Oh, really? Not even kidding. <laughs> not, not even kidding. The chili is spicy, though. Really? Oh, I think I'm not sweating again. <laughs> Yeah, she's right eh. That chilli got a lot of heat. Yeah, and it hits you immediately. But it complements the, the, the kukwa very well. Okay, I'm going to try the fish ball. Okay, go. This is a solid, uh, um, fresh fish ball. Really? Yeah. Yes. Honestly, I thought that Yong Tau quite good. We walked into this place at 10 a.m. Okay? And then it's very empty. Uh. So I thought, eh, maybe it's just hype. But honestly, it's not that. But I think maybe this is the timing where they just don't have that many people coming now. Yeah, I would say the, the Yong Tau Fu ingredients are very simple. Because for instance, right, like we said we like the one at Topayo. That Hakka Yong Tau Fu has its own specific Ngong Hyang. But these are all the very usual kind of Yong Tau Fu mm. that you'll find. So it's very traditional. And for this uh, place, right, you can't pick and choose. Uh. They will select for you. Eh. Oh, so really? it's already selected. Because Zemet ordered before. Eh. Yeah, yeah, so, so yeah. It's because Zemet ordered without me, but... <laughs> Maybe I during like their peak. Though. Yeah, I also like choosing. When I eat Yong Dao I pick a, a, a ton of vegetables, all the kang kong, all the like, all the kind of different stuff. Right? It's a good bowl of Yong Dao Okay, I wouldn't say this is an extremely unique Yong Dao You know what I mean? It tastes as it's meant to taste. It's not like they have a sauce that tastes completely um, mm. different, as if it's some strange secret recipe. I see a lot of people when they I order. I actually really right? like this. Like normally, like, when I order yeah. Yong Dao Everyone asks for more. Oh really? Yeah, they they like uh, they want to jia 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 this thing. I'm gonna try the fried tofu. Oh, I don't see any fish paste inside. Uh. It's just tofu, but the thing is, it soaked out all the sauce. Uh. Then the flavor is more okay, intense. Okay. Do you do you like to put the laksa into laksa broth into your know? For me, no. Eh. Normally, I'll just get it with the soup, oh, yeah. or I'll just the get dry it dry. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I I also won't get it with the fancy soup. But this is good. I feel like this was light enough for like a nice, comforting breakfast. Nice start lah. Before we move on to the next location, we will be playing the finger splitting game. Okay, okay can you, can you, can we, we need to be straight, can you? Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm taking this very seriously. <laughs> She's very competitive. I am, okay. There you go. Why am I bothering? I will confirm lose. Okay, I'm I, my <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, you know what? She's, she can tank already. The, the trick, I think, uh, is to hit the side. So I think you hit the side, right? Really. So I go first. Uh. 
Okay, uh, next, next location is what? Well. Fine, let's go to the next location. So, producers brought us to our first uh, gift shop for the day. It is actually a coffee powder shop that's been here for quite a while. So, his shop just turned 50 years old this year. Uh, I'm going to be buying Zermatt some coffee. A fun fact, I don't have a coffee machine at home. Usually, I just drink the decaf, the, the sachet one, but... Uh, you give it to your dad or something, right? Okay, I'll try. Which one do you want? I don't know, you, you pick uh, you pick whatever, I, I'll drink whatever. Okay. Laban, Tisa, what is the difference between all the... Although they are traditional coffee, but they are not pure coffee. There's a mixture of corn inside. The type of coffee you drink from local average coffee shop. There's a level of sourness after the Oh, level? Oh, yeah! Kopio at the coffee shop, right? It has that sourness. Oh, it comes from the corn? Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Robusta is the way to go, man. I think this one is more bitter. But the Robusta one is really good, you should get yeah, it. Yeah, I'll just get the Robusta. Coffee and powder. Oh, you got powder one? Uh? Yeah, I can get it for you if you want. So yeah, powder one, we'll just chung suyuk. Okay, and okay, yeah, then we get the powder. powder is easier for you. Okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, this is solid. And now you don't even need a machine? Yeah, I don't need a machine now. Drink your coffee filter. So you will not raise your cholesterol. In a nutritionist is speaking. Okay, let's go. Okay, come, let's go. We are here at Po Chi. Okay, the Chinese is called Po Chi, but in English it's called Po Po Ki, Po Ki restaurant. This place I've been here before. It's a Zizha place. It's right? a Zizha place. It's more of the older generations will come here. I love the entire ambiance. Really. Yeah, yeah, it feels yeah. very kampong. We, we ordered a couple of dishes. This is their champagne pork rib. It's their signature. It's really, really good. Okay, you gonna take one as well? Oh, look at that. Look at how sticky it is. Come, let's go. Let's go. Mm. Wow, this sauce is good. It's not exactly like caramelized into the rib. It's still very, very saucy, right? very sticky. They actually use real champagne to cook it. Wow. So this sauce is like, I, I don't know, a reduction of the champagne. Yeah, this one, you really can tell the, the complexity of the sweetness. Yeah. It's not just sugar. You yeah, know? it's not just it's sugar. It's like champagne where the alcohol is burned off. Good, eh? Yeah. The sweetness is really, it's, it's a complex sweetness. You must order this one. Okay, I'm gonna go into this chicken. They call this crispy chicken now, okay? They cook it to the point right, where under the skin, you can't see the fats, right? Ooh. So it's just a very thin layer of skin. Whoa. This is considered breast meat, right? Mm. I'm gonna share the breast meat. Oh, I like this more than a rib. It's so incredibly tender. I like how it, it feels very naturally salty. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it really tastes like some kampong chicken. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like this chicken has been running around the field for, for 10 days. Add a bit of this sambal, it might, look, it, might, it might taste very good. Oh really? Should I try that? Okay, I'm gonna add a bit of the chilli. The chilli is good. It is good, right? It's not, it's not too spicy as well. Usually this kind of chilli feels a bit too spicy and a bit too sour. This is a bit balanced, it's a bit sweet as well. Going for the Qing Long Cai. Usually they cook it with tau gei. This kind of vegetable, you don't want to cook it too long to the point that it's soggy. It's very fresh. Simple garlic tea. Oh, yuck. That one also their signature. Tao Pai Tofu are their signature tofu. Wait, what is this? Sea cucumber or yeah, fish mall? Yeah, sea, sea cucumber, right? One of it lah. It looks like fish mall also. Eh. Shit, I don't know what. Eh. Okay, we I, try I, the tofu. I, it does look like, like sea cucumber. I think it might be Oh. Oh. Wow. It doesn't taste like tofu now. It tastes like egg. It tastes like yeah. steamed egg. Sort of like uh, grilled on the edges. And it's super fresh because it, it's, yeah. it's handmade by them. I doubt this tofu here. is, is it might be the winner though in this table. What made it unique for me, right, uh -huh. is really the sauce. It has that seafood kind of taste, but you don't really see a seafood. That's why it's the sea cucumber that's giving it that unique flavor, you know? Oh very umami. And then yi mian. And then needed a cup. Zem is like trying to maintain wait, his wait, cups uh, these days. But this looks like a very, very good plate of yi mian. Uh. I could smell the wok hei from here. It's not bad, but it's not the best thing on this Correct, table. correct, correct. Mm. Yeah, I have to say because the, the rest of the items are way more fantastic than this. Yeah. Maybe because the flavours are quite bold. This one tastes a bit light in comparison. That is true, it's true. Yeah. I think because we just had a lot of like stronger flavours. Especially the champagne. So this just feels lighter in comparison. Wow. Quick note now. This place gets very packed during evening time. Usually I come here at 
I have to park very far and then walk here. I love how it's not too packed right now at lunch. And then you're getting this quality. And I can feel as if we're next to, to <laughs> the ocean, you know? It really feels like they, they put a lot of heart into making it. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Also because it's lunchtime, right? They can yeah. focus. Uh, There's not that many people, so the quality might be a little bit better. Okay, which one was your favorite dish? <laughs> Hands down. Is that tofu. Clear winner. Okay, I'm gonna go with the pork. Oh, okay, that one is really good also. Might be a bit too sweet for me, so that's why I went with it. Uh, yeah. I see. But I it's see. still very, very good. Alright, wow, that was a good meal. So for this time around, the game that you guys will be playing is the scissors, paper, stone, leg splitting game. Scissors, paper, stone, what? You didn't do it, man, last time. What? In school. Scissors, paper, stone, one go, but, but what is it? can't do it here, guys. Let's do this. Okay. Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. Yes, I won. So I... You take one step back. Hey, no, I take one step You take one step back, Sorry, then I'll do... I'm trying to lose my own. Okay. Scissors, paper, stone. Okay. Ah. So I take one step back. Yeah, 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 right? Scissors, paper, stone. Oh, yes, oh, yes, I won! <laughs> A few moments later... Wait, 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 properly, ah. Huh? Scissors, paper, stone. Why do you keep losing? You're gonna break your pen. I can't, I can't. Okay. I'll buy you what yes. you want. Someone's gonna buy me something. Okay, come on, let's go. Where are we going? Just yeah. here, just here. Okay. What a very cool looking provision oh, so store. so cute. I love how they have the old school Zhao Pai, you know, the old school oh signboard. Oh my god. Hey Uncle, how old is your shop? Ah? This one, uh, this one is six months. Last time we were there, it's corner there. Then when you're over there? Years. 85 years! Yeah, the, the top guy not 85 years. I thought I would win this game. I already know what I wanted. What, what are you going to I want a Coke Zero. Well, you do oh, want a drink of? Plus. Actually, I don't mind 100 plus too, but then I'll still get a taping. She wants 100 plus plus taping. Okay, so after this, I'll, I'm going to get 100 plus right now, okay. but I'll still go get a taping. Because papers, don't open the papers. It's a hot day, day guys. I, I take, want, take, I take. want this too. Wait, don't pay yet. <laughs> she will buy the whole shop, eh? <laughs> okay. Let me see what else I here. didn't see this part. Why is this part suddenly so cool? Yeah, you sure? I'm really, I'm yeah, just, good, just good. I'm just stocking out my like, snacks. Okay, take only. Okay, thank you. Okay, done. Okay, all right. Let's see. So previously it was nearby also? Yeah, la. yeah, around the corner. Oh. It started in 1938 when my grandfather came from China. Nice. Well, a lot of heritage. Okay, thank you, Uncle. Okay, all right. Thank, thank you so much. Okay, have a good day, guys. All right. Yeah. Okay, guys, we've been walking around Tiong Bahru and admiring the murals. And we thought since we're here at this fortune telling scene, I will tell Zermatt's fortune the next location. She wants to read my palm. Yeah, I'm going to read his palm. And, and, and from, from this reading, we will figure out where is the next location. Okay, we're going to Achyang's porridge. Are we? <laughs> why, oh, do, yeah, why, yeah. Do you reveal, <laughs> why you reveal so fast? It looks very good, okay? So it looks very simple, but I can smell it. I'm 100% honest. I'm not a big fan of porridge because, I don't know, hot weather, eat porridge. It doesn't sound very appealing to me. Not, not in hot weather, but generally, I'm a fan of oh, really? porridge. Okay, okay, I love good, porridge. Good, good. This one is the sliced fish one. And then this one, right, it's a combination of everything. Like all the different pork yeah, slices, liver. pork organs. And then I even add in century egg. What do we do with this? Do we you dump the whole top? thing inside. Oh, serious? I think so, I know. Okay, try yours first, try yours first. Alright, so producer just told us, right, that this stall uses charcoal to cook all their congee. Wait, I'm mixing everything first. Oh, you mix everything first? Okay. Ooh, look at that. Add a bit more sauce. Let's go. <laughs> we tried to cheers, but we just made a more. Made a more. Well, not bad. This is the kind of porridge that you want, right? When it comes to fish porridge. You taste a bit of the ginger, a bit of umami coming from the fish, and this is good enough. Eh? I would like the fish slices to be bigger. This porridge, right, it comes very uh, very light, like it's not really heavily seasoned or anything. So you have to add your own condiments, right, to, to, to sort of spice it up a little bit. Right? When you're eating the fish one, right, I'll ask for a little bit more ginger and uh, more of that chili. Yeah, I was gonna say, actually, I think my favorite part about this is the ginger. You know what? I wanna try the pork one already. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Very excited. Yeah, you can see all the century egg, all the meat and the liver. Dang, look at that. I got a piece of liver and century egg and everything also. Mm. Wow. That liver is not overcooked, eh? Yeah, slightly undercooked, but in a good way. The liver is perfect texture. Wow. Yeah, and it's very fresh. This is much better than the, yeah. the fish. If you prefer something that's very light, very um, 
You don't want very heavy flavors, very light won't go wrong. Go for the fish one. Mm. This one is a lot more a lot more com it's sharper the yeah, flavor. Yeah, and it's more complex, like no, you say the, the umami I think it just really hits you. No, so I, I don't think the fish is, is bad. The fish is just light. And I can imagine days where I want something like this. But I don't know, I think today I'm a it's a day where I wanna taste more stuff and this Come is here just order wow. this one. Trust me. I don't know what is it about the ginger though, that when you add to to, to the poison, it's so out. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't think a lot of of congee places have fresh ginger like that. And I love how it's not powder or anything, you know? It's still so quiet in the neighborhood. So the next game that you guys will be playing is Thumb Fight. Wait, what's the last the last gift shop that we're going to? It's a very nice gift shop called Cat Socrates. I love Cat Socrates! You know I that actually, place, man? Yeah, I, I go there all the time. Actually I have something I want to buy from there. Oh. You know, I, better need, win, I need to win this. Okay, Pepsi, Cola, one, two, three. Okay, for Cat Socrates, please, 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 please. What did you want with me? I like 10, <laughs> 10, right? <laughs> oh my god, what did you want? Why are you so competitive? I, I can't oh remember god. the one that you want with me, I like 10. But the minute I pin him down, it jogged my childhood memory of where you're supposed to come to that. Let's do recovery. Okay, okay, so, I mean, I, I'm still I'm still like a bit, a bit eh? <laughs> what happened? Okay, but let's go to the, what, Cat, what? Cat soccer dude. It's, it's a, it's a what? It's what, what kind of place that inside got cats on it? No. Oh, <laughs> it's a gift shop. Oh, a gift shop. They, they sell cool, I thought inside got cool cats hipster uh, uh, items. Yeah. You'll, you'll know when you get that. If, if, you, if you're going to buy a cat, I'll be bankrupt. <laughs> so, okay, 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 let's go. Let's go to Cat Socrates. Let's go. I actually come here quite a bit. No, been there but though. sometimes even if I'm not buying anything, right, I just love going in to take a look. What has it got to do with cats? Like this cat? Nothing, it's just a name. Oh, just a name. We hit in you first. Will I'm very scared now. Why? I'm wondering what's that be afraid. Oh, Wait, why are we in for a surprise now? I don't know. So I was saying that I kind of actually wanted to get something from Cat Socrates. And it's because the last time I came here, I saw something and I wasn't sure if I should get, if I should get it. But, today but now you that buy. you're paying... Yes, yes, yes. Which one? You tell <laughs> okay, me. What? So I wanted to get the, the yoga mats that are inspired by Peranakan tiles. I might actually get this. Oh, I didn't even know that it's a yoga mat. While she's figuring out, I'll show you guys. This is the Goldilocks one. But the Goldilocks la. There's a bunch of singlish inside. Bosui la. They have like like my porridge and all this kind of thing. Hi, sorry, excuse me. How much is this? 89. 89? What is this? Sorry. I thought I thought you were not 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 cheap one. I know, not expensive one. No. Okay, fine. Right. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Sorry. Oh no, now your now your 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 viewers are gonna hate me, eh? They will not lah. I just mean you spend eighty nine dollars on yoga mat for me. There's cat, there's cat. Huh? There, 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 there. Oh my gosh, it's a cat. Oh my gosh, it's a cat. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Oh. But he was hiding from us. Do you all normally let the cat roam around? Yeah, because this is my first time seeing the cat here, even though I've been here quite a few times. And then you got come here before one or not? Okay, you don't know about cat. I have! Cat. I've been here but it's always there's no cat. So I'm just You want to go out already? Eh. Okay, so I, I felt too bad. So I'm going to split. She guilty. She I'm guilty. She said she pay half. We better use this properly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want people to come after me. Alright. I guess oh. it's the end of the day. What, what do you think about today's adventure? It's so fun. I love Yong Raru, but I feel like I really went to food places that I never really explored. Uh, top food place and top top like gift shop. I think my top food place is really the Kampong Zi Oh yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Which is your top food place? I would say Porgy Zi Cha because the standards is always there uh, with regards to this kind of like specialty shops, which is your favourite. I'm biased, so this I'll go right. with the last one. And I, I love that, that they even had the cat out today. Yeah. Because normally, when I come here, the cat isn't there. For me, right, it's the mama shop. Because of the way they, they sort of revamped the whole thing, it doesn't look like a mama shop, but when you go inside, it's, it's like a typical, you know, provision shop. Yeah, I must say that one also, it like triggered a lot of 
old childhood memories. Okay, so we come to the end of this episode today. It's a pretty fun one, yeah. I have to say. Yeah, so see you guys in the next episode of Adventure of the Day. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Bye! And yes, I got a new yoga mat. Do you even use yoga mat? I do! Okay. I, 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 I do a lot of like, mat work, like Pilates mat work. Oh.